use. I'm going to use the quill to do the uh, blades of the windmill. We're going to thin our paint too when we do this. And I'm going to put the pattern back on. Okay, now we're going to take our quill and going to thin down our paint. I'm going to do that with water. You can use water, you can use extender or Cindy's mix. I'm going to start it out with using water. Now you want your windmill blades to show up, but you don't want them to be so dark that they stick out of the background. So we're going to paint these in, and then we're going to check to see if they have gotten too dark. If they have, then we'll wash some light gray wash over it. Okay, we'll come down here. We're going to do these lines also. Okay, so let's dry this and check. Once it's completely dry, you want to erase your pattern lines. making sure that it is dry. And if you need to go back and make your line work 
darker you can do that or if it's too dark you can put the light gray wash on it I think mine can be a little darker but I don't want it real dark because I do need to keep it in perspective it's on the other side of the windmill and then you can go in and finish details such as go in the door and you can also fill in the other details such as the lines of windows that go all the way across and so on. Look at your pattern and see what you need to do. Okay? And once we get done, you get done tweaking that, then um, we'll start again.